Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to this day the Lord has given us together. Today we will be meditating upon only faith on the ultimate truth can protect us and save us from the fiery darts of deceptions. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. John chapter 10 verse 27. My sheep, listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. Our enemy wants to distract us, so he can blindside us. He is not indiscriminately shooting these arrows of his. He is tailored in his strategy. He studied our tendencies and habits our deepest fears and weaknesses, and has aimed at those areas in particular. We are internally secure in Jesus, and He knows He can't destroy us. But He fully intends to sidetrack our attention by setting any number of internal fires ablaze in our lives, like insecurity, intimidation, anxiety, worry, or busyness. He wants us to be unfocused, while he sneaks up from behind. In Ephesians chapter 6, Paul conveys the belt, breastplate, and shoes as a spiritual uniform that should be worn by believers at all times, minute by minute, day by day. But with the shield of faith, he commands for it to be taken up. Look at it this way. A nurse might wear scrubs every day to work, but it's her uniform. But when the need arises, she will pick up the stethoscope, blood pressure machine, or any number of tools to use on her patient. Likewise, we must always wear our daily, divinely given uniform, but also be prepared to take up the others when required. The first one of these pieces of the armor is the shield of faith. The moment when we first sense a flaming arrow inflating our life in some way, we activate faith as a shield of protection over our lives. Don't miss the irony here. The enemy sends these flaming arrows into your life specifically when you are being called to walk in faith. Those arrows are deliberately intended to disable you from doing the only thing that has the power to extinguish them walking in faith. Faith causes fiery arrows to fizzle. What is God asking you to do? Do it in faith. This message also gives us a promise for our day today. The promise is, so let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, when it's spiritual protection from Satan's attack or physical protection, we know we can come to you and ask you to be our protector and provider. Seek refuge and lean on you, not our own strength or abilities but your promises to be our refuge if you can enable us to get through the course of the life we have in this world, which is mortal and full of deception. Help us get through our day today without whatever comes in our life. We will receive and act upon it with the standards you have set to become victorious of the fight we have every moment of our lives. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, we will talk to you tomorrow.